Okay, Lori. I thought I would show you how to do my super secret joining on uh, baby hats. Actually, I do it on a lot of hats, and I just don't write it into my pattern instructions. And this is the simple hat that I've been making for babies. Um, here's a view of it with white cuff. Okay, let's get started. First thing I do is I chain three. I'm using a J-hook and some snuggly wuggly yarn. And you join in the third chain from the hook. And let's get going. Okay, first round, chain three. And we're just going to go ahead and put 11 more doubles in the ring. I guess I should have got this done before I started the video, but I didn't. If you hear noise in the background, it's Danny in the kitchen. Okay, let me make sure I have 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I think I've got too many, so let me try again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, well, got too many, got distracted. Okay. Normally, when you join in the round, you always go to the top of the chain three. However, my kind of a join, you do not go to the top of the chain three. You go to the top of the stitch past the chain three and join with the slip stitch. That closes it so you don't have that ugly looking gap there. If you're working a round that's going to increase, you go ahead and do your chain three. And since we have joined a different way, this little portion right here is the portion that you would do your increase in, bottom of the stitch, not in front of it, it's the bottom. And you just insert the hook slightly behind it and use that. So you go ahead and put your two doubles in that stitch, and then the one in front, go ahead and put your two doubles, and work around putting your two doubles. So we get our 14, I mean 12 into the 24. Oh, I missed it. Okay, at the end of the round, when you look real close, you can see that the, even though it looks like there's a stitch here, there's really not a stitch here because it has two stitches coming out of the top of it. So since we're doing another increase round, you don't join at the top of the chain three, you join at the top of the stitch after it with a slip stitch. Do the same thing, chain three. 
if we were going to not increase, we would start working right here into this stitch, just past the chain three. However, since we have to increase, we yarn over and use this area right here, which is where the chain three comes up out of. We'll go ahead and do our double crochet in there. So this round is, uh, is two doubles in one stitch and one double in the next. Two doubles in the one stitch and a, nut, a double in the next. And we repeat that around the entire round. I'm going to uh, let you catch up with me at the end of this round. So do the two doubles, one double, two doubles, and one stitch, and then one double. Okay, we're at the end of this round. And notice that we don't use this last spot because basically it has two stitches in it above. So we join with the slip stitch just past the chain three. Now, typically, I would can keep increasing, but I wanted to show you what to do if you were not going to increase. You would do your chain three and just start to the left, just doing your normal doubles all the way around. And I'm going to point out to you where you will um, look at the, the end of the rounding and think to yourself now, am I supposed to put a double in this stitch? And uh, you'll see what I mean where you don't. And you can tell because it will already have a stitch. So if I stopped and if I continue all the way around, when I get to right here, this would be the last double I need to do would be in this stitch right here because if you look coming up from this stitch right here is our chain three so just look and see it's already got a stitch so you would not put a stitch right here it would be here and then you would join right here one past it okay and it works it really works and you won't have the ugly seam that goes up the back of a hat of, of being wide open. You get a look, to it, a look of it that is more closed. And so you don't have that big, huge gap. And this looks so much smoother. And um, I just really like that. Same thing when you go to do the singles. Um, I'm using singles in the back loop. And when you're going up, you'll come to the same type of a situation. You'll be coming around with your single and you'll be like, hmm, do I go right here? And because the thing you're going to see is your little chain one, because you do a chain one and then a single crochet, and you'll see right here you'll be going, now do I do it there or not? And you don't because it is the formation, I mean, it, it is this stitch right here that's in question. And there's already a stitch there. If you were to put a stitch here, it would increase how many is in your round. So don't put the stitch there. And I'm going to go ahead and crochet around and stop over here to show you so that you make sure that you do it right. Okay, I'm back at the end of the round. So when you look at this and you're going, where do I put it here or not, just look and you'll see it's already got one in it. So go to the one past it and do your slip stitch. And that is going to close up and make it just look like a normal stitch area. We'll do, I'll act like I'm doing the chain one and the single here now. So when we do the chain one and the single, we, if you look at it, it's going to have the same situation when you're going to come to it. You're not going to put it right here. So I hope that makes sense.